Hey, welcome, welcome back. I'm glad you're back. In this video, we are going to go over software switch. And what is a software switch, guys, in Fortinet or FortiGate? Well, a software switch is a virtual switch that basically implements or that is implemented at the software or firmware level and not at the hardware level, right? So um, a soft switch can be used to simplify communication between devices connected to different body gate interfaces. So we're going to have to reconfigure our, um, you know, our topology a little bit for this to work, but it's going to be fine because we know, we know how to do that, right? So, for example, using a software switch, you can place the FortiGate interface connected to an internal network on the same subnet as your wireless interfaces. So then devices on the internal network can communicate with devices on the wireless network without any additional configuration on the FortiGate device, such as security policy. So we don't need any security policies if they are on the same um, you know software switch on this 40 gate so therefore we're gonna have to do some you know we're gonna have to remove this switch because this is basically our hardware switch and we're going to basically do just a, a a software switch in here so let's go ahead and stop this bad boy and we are going to remove these interfaces in here delete and delete and delete and delete so in here whop this is basically a hardware switch so we don't need that can we create a new custom shape and I want this to not be I want it to be a circle and this circle I want it to be yellow circle background color um, actually bark background colors light that should be good let's do the circle real quick this one is going to be oh why is it behind let's go ahead and bring it to the front there we go see can we make this bad boy a little bit bigger it's going to be basically our software switch move this guy over here move this guy over here and move this other bad boy in here right this is basically our software switch so let's go ahead and plug this guy oops let's go ahead and plug this Linux device in port 3 looking like a million dollar box and ports what do we got here port 4 looking beautiful let's go ahead and start this firewall start my windows device over here and then start my linux device over here so this is going to be my software switch and why okay there we go so that is good we're going to have to wait for this firewall to be uh, to be up and running basically so this is going to be a software switch in here do we need this uh, let's just go ahead and leave it there for now Actually, let's just go ahead and move it out of the way. VLAN 40, we are done with VLANs. We did the, that VLAN video already. Am I right? I think I'm right. Let's go ahead and say 10.10.30.1, and we're going to edit this one to say 10.10.30.2. Beautiful, beautiful, guys. All right, while the firewalls up is going up, I believe this guy is still, this one is this guy over here. This guy is the Linux device, right click, network manager, make sure this one is the 30 that one still, and it is connected. It's not connected. Oh, it is connected. 30 that one, that looks good. We're gonna leave that one by itself. Now let's go ahead and go to the Windows machine, which, you know, just takes a little bit longer to be up and running but before anything i do want to configure this study that one my password really secure password is a d m i n 
admin, of course, the most secure password there is. So here we go. Let me go ahead and should I post this? Is it going to take that long? I'm just going to pause it until this machine is up and running. Okay, the Windows device is up and running. Let's go ahead and configure that interface. Everybody knows how to do that. If you're here, you know how to do that. But let me go ahead and show you just in case you forgot. Let's go to interfaces, right click, go to properties. And in here, IPv4, double click on it static right use the following ip address 10 10 30 that two this one is going to be slash 24 default gateway is always going to be the 254 dns server whatever you want to give it in here right eight or eight or eight should be good google my old friend google let's go ahead and get it it has been configured good 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 so now like i said over here these two ports over here are going to be on the same virtual switch. So therefore, these two devices are going to be able to communicate with each other, right? That's what we're thinking. So the way that we uh, that we configure that is that we are going to, you know, just go ahead and log in over here. Admin, password, admin, of course. Like always, admin, admin. <coughs> Cool, cool, cool. So don't save it. We are going to go to interfaces, right? Log in, go to interfaces. And what are we going to do, guys? Well, let's see if we are using port three and port four. Yes, we are. So we're going to have to do some housekeeping over here. We got to go to policies, addresses. Just showing you guys how to delete this stuff, how to get good at it. Delete. Press OK. Let's go to firewall policy and we need to also remove that policy. If it is in here, yes, it is in here. Delete that policy. Okay. 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 Now we go to interfaces network, then interfaces. And now we should be able to delete that port aggregation from I think like five videos ago that I never removed. So now we can go ahead and create a new one and we are going to create a new interface and what do you want to call this guys uh, let's go ahead and say soft uh, soft switch one that looks good alias uh, let's say net 30 right soft switch to the net network 30 now the type this is what is really important you have to make sure that you don't select um, aggregate EMAC VLAN loopback redundant, but you have to select the software switch because that's what we're talking about. And now we need to add some members in here. So port four and port three, doesn't matter how you add them, you just need to have both of them because those are the two interfaces over here that we are working with. We are going to save this is a LAN looking beautiful. So now over here, we need to go ahead and configure the default gateway 10, 10, not 20, 30, 254, slash 24. Looking beautiful. We can allow pin. That's great. Nothing more than that. Let's go ahead and keep it secure. And we're not going to do, I think that's, that's all we need to do over here. Let's go ahead and press OK. So if you don't use a virtual switch, right? If you didn't have a virtual switch, if these two interfaces were not on a virtual switch, then you will have to configure or create a firewall policy for these two devices to be able to communicate with each other. But since they are on a virtual switch, we are able to communicate with each other. And, you know, we are able to also ping, like, you know, we're able to ping each other. So let's go ahead on this Windows device, the 30 that two, let's go ahead and right click on this on the Windows icon. We can just open PowerShell. That's fine. You know, PowerShell just a little bit more powerful than CMD. So if you go ping 10, 10, 30, that one, we should be able to ping 10, 10, 30, that one, because we're basically on the same switch, right? It's just a software switch. It is not a hardware switch like a Cisco switch, right? It's a virtual switch, okay? 
like software switch is basically like a virtual switch so we are able to communicate with each other and if we go to this also if we browse through this linux device i believe this linux device is running a http website but i don't know 10 i cannot recall don't show me this again bye bye see you later 10 10 30 the one is it running a website uh i thought it was but i guess it's not https let's go ahead and go https whack whack no i guess it's not that's fine so now let's go ahead and open this guy and we should be able to communicate back with let's go ahead and go terminal if you go ping 10 10 30 that two and we're not able to ping 10 10 30 that two. Oh, that's because <laughs> that's because we need to allow a bit on the on the windows machine there's a firewall on the windows machine and we need to allow icmp for this linux machine to be able to ping this device so since that is turned off we won't be able to do it but you can see the communication over here between 10 10 30.1 and 10 10 30.2 so that is great so now what if i want to allow these two machines to go out to the internet how can we do that well we are able to communicate internally that's that's cool back and forward but we are unable to go out so how do you allow it to go out well you will need a policy because port one um, are not on the same soft switch as port 3 and port 4 so therefore you will need to create a policy right and port 3 and port 4 are able to communicate so therefore and they are in a software switch so therefore they don't need a firewall policy but if you want to go out port 1 you will need a firewall policy for that so if you go to policy and objects firewall policy and in here we are going to create a, a new one let's go ahead and say soft switch one out and the incoming interface is going to be that net 30 soft switch one because we want everybody on that software switch or on that virtual i think a virtual switch was going to be better than calling it calling it a virtual switch sounds a little bit better than calling it a software switch but it's fine and then the source we are going to allow source all destination all and service also all because i'm that good i want everybody to have access to everything else and are those services running nope that one is not running let's go ahead and start the bad boy up so the one <laughs> and it's not going to work if the WAN device is not up and running right guys yep i'm right so okay 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 enable this policy all the sessions like always like i like it just how i like it looking like a million dollar box so blah blah blah, blah, blah. that looks good looks good looks good so now if we go to the windows device let's go ahead and see if we are able to ping like ping 8888 maybe yes we are able to ping 8888 are we able to ping google right dns see if dns is working dns is mm, not looking too good oh there we go it is working so let's go ahead and try this one more time there we go so it's working so if we go to here we open firefox and we go to youtube.com are we able to access youtube.com from here it looks like we are are we able to access x.com from here x.com yes we are awesome so you can see how a software switch works right so those interfaces are in the same software switch are going to be able to communicate with each other without requiring it additional services like a firewall policy but if something is but if something that is outside of the software switch then we will need a, a you know security policy like we just created over here so we could go out to the internet and now we're able to go out to the internet by adding that incoming interface software switch which basically add those three or those two interfaces are in there and now we are able to browse the internet so this is set for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy this video like always and i will see you the next one bye bye